the Palladium will be here for hundreds if not thousands of years of properly maintained. And what happened tonight really is historic because the first notes were played in Carmel's new concert hall. Uh, you know, the building was patterned after a, a classical piece of architecture, Andre Palladio's Villa Rotunda, uh, built uh, almost 470 years ago in uh, the countryside outside of Venice, Italy. And uh, the Palladium is, is uh, really inspired by that building. And we've built this building to be beautiful, uh, to uplift the spirits of the community, to inspire children and others uh, to accomplish, to perform in the arts, uh, as well as, as provide economic development. We know that uh, to attract companies with good paying jobs, we need to have cultural amenities and cultural opportunities available um, right here in Carmel. I think what I want people to realize is that this is a living, breathing, performing arts center. And we have three venues, the Palladium, the Studio Theater, and the 500 seat, the Tarkington Theater. What I would like people to remember and to know is that it's the art that takes place inside these venues that's most important. And I want people to come and experience everything that we have to offer in each of the three venues. You should try it, experiment. If you don't like it, come back and try something else the next time. I selected two pianos for the, the concert stage here. And uh, the piano that we used was the one that has a slightly a gentler tone. The other one has a um, louder tone for the purpose of uh, playing with an orchestra and, and uh, uh, projecting over the, the uh, sound of a big orchestra. And I thought that the piano sounded uh, wonderful. We're going to do a little um, tweaking with the higher end of the piano uh, because every uh, part of the acoustical makeup of the piano, every range, every octave, uh, sounds differently. And so that's part of the, what is determined by doing these sort of um, next several months of testing, finding what certain frequencies need to be um, uh, expanded or uh, um, attenuated. The, the whole uh, process is very mysterious because there is no scientific way of knowing what is going to happen to the sound and then it's using technology to figure out how to make very subtle adjustments. So we're speaking overall about something that's very subtle because the bottom line is that the sound here is, is marvelous. <laughs> Somewhere it must have. Just to have fun, I played my French horn with Michael Feinstein. We did two pieces. We did Hoagie Carmichael Stardust. And of course, Carmichael uh, is from Indiana, from Bloomington, and wrote Stardust when he was in Bloomington. Uh, and then we did uh, Give My Regards to Broadway, which is from, uh, was a George Cohen song, really from the musical uh, George Amma. <laughs>